Hey, yes, good morning everybody. Um, yeah, I thought that we're going to start with our uh, new episode, episode 5. Um, if you haven't followed the other episodes, you can go from episode 1 through to 4. Today will be episode 5 and we're going to start looking at what it is the K553 learner's license book is explaining to us. For those ones that need to go and do their learner's license, um, good luck. We can see on a basic overall what is why do you need a learner's license? Okay, you need a learner's license to start to see what you um, to prove to the the government basically that you will be able to um, be responsible to 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 drive a motor vehicle and that you understand the, the rules of the road and that you qualify qualify by understanding the road of the rules and that um, you will be a law abiding citizen now law abiding citizen by applicable to the rules yeah okay well, well some of us do it some of don't now it's time that some people do their learner classes over those ones that get too much fines um, doesn't respect the rules of the road and um, maybe we must have an introduction course about it uh, maybe I can um, assist in just go through basic rules of the roads with people that doesn't do it okay when can you op obtain a learner's license okay obviously when your child is 16 you can obtain a learner's license and the learner's license for a motorcycle 25cc and less all right nothing more than that you know your child can drive a 650 or 750 or 1000 but unfortunately the rules the law is stating that you can't do it so if you can't do it then you cannot do it all right when they when they're 17 years old they can obtain a learner's license for uh, 3500 kilograms less motor vehicle um, unfortunately not um, a truck or four tonner, five tonner, six tonner and 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 all right and then um, over the age of 18 you're free to do anything to get your learner's license for driving anything not doing anything on the road just have a driver learner's license to drive um, a vehicle so yeah all right um everybody knows that you cannot apply for a learner's license if you have been previously convicted of any felony any crime and they have suspended your license do not go to try to obtain a learner's license if you have a suspension on it and saying that people maybe doesn't understand it but there is still people that actually do it and they go to try to apply for a learner's license for um, a EC um, but then they actually do have a license for EC so yeah okay but you can't do that okay you can't apply for a learner's license you have a license already for for this particular um, code of uh, vehicle all right um, how long is the learner's license valid in South Africa 24 months two years you've got two years to practice to get your learner's license your license sorry yeah all right there's major questions that you need to answer on a monkey puzzle base or tick 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 make a question guys the most important is that when you go and do your learner's license is understand the question what they are asking you do not make yourself read the first few words and think you know what the answer what the question is and what to answer now read the question proper fashion so that you understand what the question is before answering it do not go and make marks every mark counts if you understand it the rules of the road you get 28 questions you need 
minimum of 22 right answers yes six difference what is six six is a lot you can make a mistake on the road signs signals and markings again you've got 28 questions about it and here you have to get 23 minimum out of 28 please stick to it and the controls of the vehicle there's eight points eight points that is asking about your control of your vehicles of your motorcycle you need to get a minimum of six so yeah that's two points if you fail three one of the categories you fail your test okay guys let's go look at them um, a little bit more about um, motorcyclists and um, what you need to do in your first answer questions know your mo motorcycle controls know what where is your clutch where is your mirror where is your handlebar where's my handlebar now everybody knows where the handlebar is it's for you to prove to them that you actually know what the handlebar is where is your front brake? Anybody? Front brake? Yeah, no, it's not in the front of the wheel. Yes, we know. The pads are sitting there. On the disc, it's sitting there. But where do you pull it to make the impact on the brake pads? Yes, it sits on your right hand side. So you can slightly have it clutch left all right your accelerator everybody knows that and everybody wants to run 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 the whole time that's not why it is there guys come now all right you don't want to rave it the whole time and make us if you are a booba you have this massive exhaust and you carry on like a hooligan on the highway okay some people do it all right give them benefit maybe they don't know better oh maybe they just want to prove a point a uh, rear bike um, pedal, where is that? You don't know? Alright, that's at your right right foot. Alright. Last slightly. You don't have to press the brake often. All you're doing is damaging your tires. Alright. That's important. Do not press it too hard. Do not use it mainly. Alright. Indicator is very important. Indicator. You need to use your indicator at all times. Guys, at all times use your indicator. Alright, left, right, left, right, yes, where you want to go to. Okay, handlebars, you know your clutch, you know where it is, you know where your mirrors are. Where is your gear lever? What is your gear lever in the first place? Your gear lever is to select the gear that you want to ride in. You cannot start a bike if it's not in neutral. Yes, you can if your clutch is in and yes, alright. Okay, for practical examinations, you cannot do that. Alright, we'll come to the practical exam later, but a gear lever is there for you to change your gears. You go from 1, down, neutral, 2, 3, 4, and 5, if you have 5. Otherwise, on the 125s, mainly, most of them only had till 4, that's got 5 gears. Alright, you don't have a reverse, so please do not try and look for the reverse gear you won't have a reverse gear all right so you've got a combination of questions that you need to know yeah if you want to turn to the left which of your controls do you use and in what sequence do you use yes please we need to study all right you cannot just say i want to use my indicator okay what do you do when you want to maneuver use your mirrors your mirrors is most important always have them clean always make sure that you can see the course in a 360 degree around you believe me they are important okay then if you're going to stop or you want to reduce speed suddenly which of 
your controls you're gonna use you don't know all right I'll tell you your front brake and your your back brake that's what you're gonna use front and your back brake okay guys um today we have go through this and um tomorrow we'll carry on oh, we don't want to make it too much time that you guys spend if there's any questions leave questions on my site and i will be able to assist you further but we'll go through this you will pass your learner's license after this it's basically like an introduction an online course we can make an online course for you and you can um happily go through with me i can um guide the guys that needs to go through the learner's license and um, i promise you you will succeed just don't think this is just a uh, walk in a park it's not all right be focused study and go through this magazine magazine book and um, they cannot fail you read your questions and we we'll answer them all right guys till tomorrow episode six will follow this is episode five of what do I do if my child asks for a bike guys have a good day awesome day be safe on the road till tomorrow